Hello folks, I'm back and I wanted to talk to you a little bit about the games I got for Christmas, the games I gave for Christmas, and a few I bought just because they're on sale around Christmas. But before I go too much further, if you like what I'm presenting to you today, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And let me know down below what you got for Christmas or what you gave for Christmas. If you, if you had something that you felt like really won Christmas for you, let me know down below. So one gift that I don't have because we're in the middle of a snowpocalypse right now. <laughs> so one game that I gave and also bought myself was Star Realms. Now Star Realms is a, is a game that Owen showed me kind of casually uh, in, on game night right before we played Dune together. It's a little two player uh, deck building game. And it's, uh, it, I, I actually, you can add more and more decks and add more and more players, apparently. I got this as a gift for one of my friend's uh, kids that I think is a really nice guy. So uh, I bought this deck building game for him and I've been playing it on my phone. Uh, I want to go back and get my own deck, but I've been obsessed with it on my phone uh, since Owen showed it to me. So thanks a lot, Owen. So usually when I give someone a game, it's because I, I've played it and I really enjoyed it. Uh, and anytime I kind of get minorly obsessed with the game, I feel like I got to buy it and give it to someone. I don't know if you guys are like that. So, of course, I got a bunch of my friends uh, White Castle. White Castle was shown to me by Owen from Organic Cardboard. He came over here. We did a playthrough, uh, I think, for, for my channel. And a review over there. Uh, I really, really loved, really, really loved this game. <laughs> so I got it for my friends. So I'm going to be sure to play it uh, as much as possible. <laughs> I probably won't go into too much detail on this because actually, looking over here, it's quite a stack of things. Uh, I, I was uh, quite active over the holidays. So this next one kind of uh, it bridges both ways. So this is, uh, what is this called? Lacuna. Lacuna Matata. No, this is Lacuna. And this is a really neat little uh, grab-and-go game. I, I guess I'd put it into that category. The setup for this is really... Really easy. There's a like a silky kind of blanket you throw out and you put these uh, little wooden flower petals all over it. It's a super, super express, easy setup game that's pretty and, uh, and simple to play. But it's also, I don't know, it's a little bit deeper. It's just a little bit more if you're looking for more in a game. You could really do a lot of interesting stuff with this. So because of that, uh, I got this. I actually got bought this for myself as well as gave it to uh, to Owen from Organic Cardboard for his Christmas. But I also got this. Uh, I got these two games specifically because, no pun included, uh, had mentioned that they were their favorite games. And, and the AFCA's praise for this made me finally, finally break down and buy it. I've had the previous version of Dune on my Amazon wish list uh, for a really long time. And uh, I was... I was Really wanting to pull the trigger on that, and then I heard that this had come out. Uh, and then I saw the video where they they basically said that uh, that these were their two favorite games, and because I was on the fence, I was intrigued with this one, and I, this one I was I was I was primed and ready to buy this one anyway. Uh, I, I decided to get it and try it for myself. I thought it would even be interesting to sort of make an answer video, but I gotta say I, I I've only had. Uh, I've, I've played this a number of times because it's a quick, easy game to play. Uh, this one I've played about four times, and uh, I'm immediately hooked. But I'm an easy sell on Dune. I really like the universe. I, I like stuff about. I, I like a lot of the story of Dune. So uh, this is particularly interesting to me. So now we're bridging over into the stuff I got for myself. I, I, I didn't buy. I didn't buy a ton of stuff. What I'm going to do is include some Kickstarters that came in also. <laughs> because I, at the end of the year, things start arriving. In fact, usually there's this little surge of stuff arriving. I have like three or four things that have uh, just come over on ships. And one that's kind of questionable, I'll talk about later. But I did get a couple of things uh, right before Christmas. One we've talked about just a little bit, Sleeping God's Distance Skies. This came in. And uh, I did an unboxing of this. Uh, I've gotten to play it. Holly and I have actually played all the way through it once. And had a really good time with it. Uh, I'd love to... Owen has actually not received his copy yet. 
There was some kind of mix up in the mail. So he's he's getting this and he's about to do his little uh, run through of it too. I don't know what content he's got planned, but I'm hoping that maybe we can do something together and uh, show you this game because I was really impressed with it. Okay, next up we've got uh, 20 Strong. And I did get the just the Solar Sentinels box. Although after I played it once, I decided to go ahead and get the uh, Hopamachus Victorum. I've been playing this, trying to learn how to play it really well so I could do a playthrough. Look forward to maybe a playthrough on the channel very soon. I went to Chattanooga, and uh, as I go through Chattanooga, I like to stop in some of the local game stores down there. And uh, I picked up this one I thought was really funny called uh, Hey, That's My Fish. Is this upside down? It's hard to say <laughs> what's upside down with this. And that's kind of the way this game is. I, Holly and actually, Holly and I actually broke this out just the other day, and we played it. It was uh, it was a lot of fun. It's kind of a little. It's it's a take that game, extremely mean little game where you try to strand little penguins off on little ice islands and stuff. It was it was fun though, and really really easy to pick up. Uh, the, I guess the big question on this is, is, is the juice worth the squeeze? Because the setup kind of takes a few minutes, but uh, I think it was. It was a lot of fun. So one I got that is uh, not new at all. Uh, I bought this off eBay. And this is the Rise of Moloch. Now this is, a, this is from a time uh, just a little bit before I started backing things on crowdfunding. So this is the core box. And uh, the Kickstarter extras, all the all the innards and stuff for the miniatures have been removed and everything's just in baggies and stuff. And of course, it's all unpainted. This has some really, really amazing miniatures. And I'm very excited to uh, to delve into this and paint it a little bit. Plus, I've heard a lot about the, the game and a lot of people say they like it. So uh, I'm looking forward to trying that out. All right, so that's about it from the Stuff I Bought category. Uh, moving on to Things I Got for Christmas. And uh, one of these things I got, I actually borrowed this from Owen a while back to play it and really enjoyed it. So it made my Amazon list and thus made it to me for Christmas. <laughs> Thank you so much for uh, for buying me this. I believe Jenny got me this one. This one and probably the next one, I think, uh, maybe came from that. Anyway, uh, this was a, this is a solo game. I've been really starting to get into these solo games because... Uh, I've been thinking more and more about filming solo games and stuff. I've actually been working on a little project over here uh, off camera that uh, will make filming games like even that much easier. I, I, I kind of streamline the process a little bit. Uh, I'll be showing you more and more about that in the near future. But I wanted to get a couple of solo games so I could start churning through these things on my own and really get a lot of content out there. Um, so look forward to some of that coming soon. What's really interesting about this one too is it's, it's really thick. For, uh, for what you see on the board. And that's because it's got a whole campaign. So you can run through all these little scenarios and stuff. So it makes for more interesting play maybe over a longer period of time. So up next, I also got Above and Below. Now, Above and Below is, is another Ryan Lockett game. Ryan Lockett, of course, did this, and, and his wife, I believe, did the Sleeping Gods game. And he's done several games. And this is another one that's got uh, some story stuff that's, uh, that's in Foreteller. So I was able to kind of download the app for a little bit more money and, and, uh, and actually play some of the dialogue and stuff instead of having to read the little stories that happen. But it's really interesting. And it's sort of a, it, it's a really, really light version of this. I mean, they're completely different games. Don't get me wrong. It's got the same vibe, I guess in a way. But Sleeping Gods is definitely more of an unveiling adventure and this is definitely a board game. So there's a there's a clear distinction between the two kinds of games, but uh, but it's neat. And it's neat and the art is very familiar and fun. So up next we have Dune. Uh, this is the first Dune. Of course, like I said earlier, it made it to my Amazon list and my mother-in-law picked this up for me. I am super excited to play this. I, I wasn't sure, it's actually still in the shrink, so I wasn't sure if I was gonna, uh, well, I had already opened the other Dune. And it is a standalone sequel to this. But it turns out you can play them together. It just, it's gonna add more characters and stuff to it. Uh, I guess the only question is, do I want to? Uh, I was, I played only just a few games with this one, so I'm gonna wait and see. Uh, if I just if I feel like I want all of it, then I'm just gonna go ahead and pull the shrink off and combine them up into a big box or something. 
so far, I really love this game, and much like uh, on no pun included, uh, I, I kind of feel funny for for putting it off for so long. I, I don't like usually art that mimics a movie really closely, and I think that's what put me off of it at first. It just reminded me a lot of stuff that they used to make for my generation of folks back in the 70s or 80s. There was always a game and a comic book for every movie, and they usually weren't that great. This, though, is the exception. The art is very good, even though it is, you can tell the, the characters are kind of from the movie, but they're not like straight up, you know, a, a photograph, like a still from the cinema cinema experience, like put into a card or something like that. It's all it's all artwork, and it's really nice. So hopefully I'll be playing this and, uh, and adding all those characters into the rest of Dune very soon. One I also just got uh, is Spirit Island. My friends and I, uh, we didn't, we weren't able to get together because of illnesses that were plaguing everyone. Uh, we weren't able to get together all through the holidays and stuff. So we met up a little bit later and, uh, one of my friends gave me Spirit Island. This is, now I have the, I have the original copy of Spirit Island, but this is the, like a new standalone, it's both an expansion and a standalone uh, version of the game. Now, my understanding is that the, the this is a, a little bit more uh, of an accessible version of the game. Like some of the, the spirits and stuff in here are pretty uh, simple to use. Uh, and it's a great kind of almost like a travel version of the game. It is a bit smaller than the original one. And, uh, and would be a great way to kind of introduce someone to Spirit Island or add more spirits to your already existing copy of Spirit Island. So thank you very much for this. And last but not least, Owen gave me Camel Up because he saw me goofing around with this at our favorite local game store where we like to hang out. Good Times Game House. Shout out to uh, Dylan and all the good, nice folks of our Good Times Game House in Knoxville, Tennessee. Anyway, uh, he got me Camel Up. This is a this is a really, really funny game. I, I Another channel that I really, really like, No Rolls Barred. Uh, I was watching them play this and I just kind of fell in love with it. I, I haven't gotten a chance to play this. I really want to get a group of people together and play this together. But this is the kind of game, it's sort of a, a gambling game and a race with camels and stuff like that. Uh, I like racing games a lot. I've got quite a few of them. So uh, I, I can't wait to try this out. Thank you, Owen. And to my good friends that gave me a coupon for paints, thank you so much too. I really appreciate it. I'll be painting more stuff, doing, playing these games and a lot of other games here in 2024. I'll see you then. Till next time, enjoy your games and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.